What's up everyone? Welcome. Now, I've made a pretty exciting discovery, which I'll show you here in a moment. But first, I need to clear out my inventory. Now, I was going to work on that uh, dungeon I found. It is a skeleton spawner uh, inside, so that is the best kind of dungeon to find. Now, I need to work out how I'm going to uh, trap it. I have a feeling, I mean I've only ever done one or two dungeon traps and even then it was following a guide so I may attempt that, I may just try and remember what I had seen previously, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a simple uh, drowning trap which forces mobs underneath uh, a block so they drown. Now I was tempted to set it up so there is an underground, you know, like sort of uh, river as it were which would bring all items here. The only problem with that is is um, it's only going to work if I'm standing over there letting the mob spawn and kill them so uh, that's something I'm going to have to work on. Now oh Jesus get these, get these doors shut it's dangerous otherwise so I started collecting the uh, mossy cobble, get it out of the way I'll use it elsewhere, I'm not sure where though yet. Now I want to clear up a bit of room in my inventory. So let's get rid of that. Take some cobblestone. I have plans for it, you see. What else do we have? We've got a bucket. I'll keep that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Put those away. What else? We've got diamonds. I won't be needing those. I'll take a couple of wooden doors. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to build something yet. Uh, I collected a bit more sand. I'll take the glass. What else? What else? What else? Don't need that. Don't need that. I'll keep those. I need a bit more wood. I need to start cutting down more trees. String, I don't need. Well, I could make a bow, I've still got 12 arrows there. Hmm. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just quickly make. Probably to make a bit more food. And then I will be ready to roll. In fact, it would make sense if we. Sounds like it's above me. I hate that. Right, let's just go ahead and uh harvest this while we're waiting for it to go daylight. I really need to get a bed made. plants everything. Now, I'm sort of wondering if I should try and make, well I suppose it's possible to have a uh, a uh, piston which opens up and lets water out. I'm wondering if I had one there. I don't know where it would have to be to knock everything I imagine in the corners. I'd hope it would push everything to uh, ideally here. Let me put my spares up. It's the only thing I don't like about trapdoors, it's a little difficult to get up. Okay, so there's no skeleton out there waiting to put an arrow on my head. That's good. So let's go ahead and there we go. Lovely. Okay, we got food. Lots of food. Yeah. 
I still need to change this front up a bit, it looks a bit weird. Now that I've got Mossy Cobble, I could use it, but the problem is, is it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of out there. Like, I don't know if it would fit in because I've used stone bricks. The stone bricks look kind of too clean at a distance. Or, if I wanted to make it a ruin, I should perhaps break it up a bit so it's not a perfectly straight, you know, uh, rooftop of being held up by pillars. Now, it would be nice if uh, to make mossy cobble or mossy stonework, perhaps if you had vines that are on, uh, vines on top of, uh, like, cobble or... Uh, stone bricks for an you know uh, x amount of time like several days in game perhaps they just turn into mossy cobblestone or mossy uh, stone bricks the same could be said if you got a uh, like bricks around grass level like there and you've got grass next to it perhaps that could do it too it would be nice now i'm going to go ahead and wait out the rest of uh, this evening make sure it's morning then i'm going to uh show you what I was referring to earlier so one moment okay so while I was waiting for it to go daylight I was just reading reading up a little bit <laughs> that was close on uh, mob spawners now or traps as it were now originally I was under the impression that if water hit a mob spawner it would destroy it or stop it from working at least this used to be the case way back when I mean that's how long ago it's been since I've made a uh, dungeon trap now from the picture I saw of how to make a simple trap it looks very very easy so I may try it out and we'll see how it goes but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to do it this episode it's also occurred to me uh, there's another type of trap which I can do, which would get me all hostile mob items. Uh, this was a trap I've seen used by Co-Star, if anyone's seen his videos in Co's Quest. He basically digs out like a giant room, lots of canals in there, going into a central canal, and all the mobs die in a, I don't know if it was a fall or fire, one of them. So I can always do something like that. However, that is put on hold because, so I was around this uh, desert last time and I do not recall seeing this. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I went out and found the uh, the mob spawner, uh, the dungeon, so I'm not quite sure how I missed this. But uh, I've got to say, it kind of like threw me off at first when I saw it. I was like, what? Did I build that? And then I was trying to sort of remember if I did or not but uh, let me show you there we go so you can imagine my confusion when I seen this in fact there's the uh, dungeon there at least I believe it is yeah I'm gonna say it is so we have our first village, our first village next to our first uh, dungeon, next to our first every biome, so that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like a kind of uh, messed up village. Well, I don't think I'll be taking the path. <laughs> That's cool. So after last after last episode, I made all those plans. That's kind of thrown off me. Although I just realised this is a desert village. That's not really. Wait a tick. Wait one smegging moments. What the hell? This is just a single house. This happens. I, I have no idea this actually happened. I thought all villages were sort of the same. Where well, there, you know, there'll be several houses. Okay, unless there's like 
some village houses buried under the sand here. <laughs> Which would be a kind of horrific thing if the uh, villagers are still inside. Oh, wow, this is weird. Huh. I don't know what to say to this, this is just weird. Okay then, um, hmm. See, I was expecting to see the rest of the village when I got up here. I mean, the path doesn't go anywhere else. And I'm just going to quickly look over here, because I thought I've seen... It look, could look like another dungeon, but I could be wrong. Or it could be the rest of that village. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh god. Wow, this is not a good place to build a village. <laughs> oh, that's dangerous. Okay, so... Let's have a quick look around the surrounding area. Hmm. I'm just thinking because... I believe villagers will get into a... A house, provided it's got like a... A door and a roof on top. At least I think that's the requirements. I imagine you need some walls in there somewhere. Uh, but if that's the case... Hmm. I'm just wondering if I should try and attempt to move the villagers elsewhere and build some houses and see if they'd stay there. But I don't know if they would. Just trying to get a look at this river. I think it goes all the way around, across there, and then back there. Which is kind of cool. In fact, this village is in a really good position. Except it's in a desert. Nothing wrong with desert, but villages, regular stone, you know, uh, cobblestone and wooden roof houses don't look right here in the uh, desert, at least in my opinion. So, I might have to move them. Okay, I was just checking to see if there's any more dungeons or anything. Hmm. Now, what to do with this lot? Although, thinking about it, the uh, well was on a completely different level. For all I know, there could be more houses underneath. I wonder if a zombie spawn here at night. I'm going to stick a few torches down. Get this place lit up. <laughs> Jeez. Don't like that drop. Oh. Hi. I'm coming in. I'll come in peace, don't worry. What's going on out here? Okay, so... Probably should have left that doorway blocked. Now zombies can come in and now he's loose. Last thing I want him is going to fetch some water and falls down the hill. You daft bugger, you don't go over there. Okay. Yeah, that'll be my luck. I come back and find out they've all been eaten alive by zombies. That'll be sad. I'm kind of wondering if I should look down that hole, but it's going to be night time here in a moment. I mean, there's gravel, that could be like a pathway, but somehow I doubt it. Oh. Okay. Of course, I have no shovel to do this quickly. Oh, short. Careful. Uh, could this be a road? 
I see eyes down there. Oh, nope. Time, time to get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so this is not a friendly underground. So there's no hidden village down there. So it's just these two houses, which is weird. It's going night time. I could attempt to run back. Uh, I could attempt to run back. I don't think it's wise, but if I go back now, I can get some materials ready to uh, I was looking at that, it looks kind of nice with the uh, sugar cane there oh flip <laughs> okay this was not a good idea, I probably should stay there but I want to get back so I can I don't know if I'll mess with the, the uh, that area at least but I would like to have a go at starting on that dungeon so I want to get back and get materials ready ooh booger quick dive god it's lighter underwater than it is above what's up with that run 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 the hell is that oh that's the dungeon I think well, that's the dungeon, it's further away than I thought it was. Let's just see if anything spawned down there. No, it's lit up pretty well. Okay then, so... Almost. Almost threw me off there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and test out this new mob spawner, or at least get some of it down. I will want to make a proper way of getting to it to uh, gather. Like, if it goes night time, then it's a good place to go AFK at, but I can't really run across at you know, the dead of night, so what well, I'll need to set up is like an underground tunnel that would connect up the two areas which I can do uh, as for that f uh, it's not a farm it's a, a couple of village houses I'm not sure to be honest uh, I'm tempted to try and get the villagers to come I don't know perhaps over at least here to the green bit and then build a house there for them but I don't know if they will I'll have to read up on it because I don't want to like sort of waste the opportunity there. What I could always do is build another house, see if they'll move into it there, see if they'll multiply a bit and then lock some in a house that way if I do take some and they die, you know, I haven't lost all the villagers. Anyway, bear with me. And we're back. It's just gone morning. Get out of here. So, I'm going to go ahead and quickly test out this uh, zombie, uh, not zombie, uh, skeleton mob trap. Well, it's just a, a dungeon trap in general. Oh, I thought I had another one there, it's just a stupid sandstone. So, this is a pretty simple trap. Now, I wish they'd known about it earlier. I'd have done it in my old world. Just uh, the only dungeon trap I've ever done took quite a while, and there was a lot of faffing around, which I didn't really want to have to mess with. But this one seems pretty simple. So, just need to get rid of, rest, get rid of the rest of this. All right, of it. We should have finished this earlier, but it was going dark. Alright, sorted. Now, 
I actually need to fill this base in, as far as I know. Although, I probably wouldn't need to, but I'm going to. I like to do as I'm told. So, we'll get this the same set up. Because it's just a quick test to see if this works, really. I can always do a more advanced mob trap, should I so desire. That's great, they stack, don't they? Sorted. <sighs> Alright, go away. I'll take those, because they're somewhat rare. Might as well use a bit more cobble. Alright, I'm going to have to fill that a bit. Let me just... Uh... Oh, I'm out of bloody torches. Come on. What's going on here? There we go. So, this needed to be 5x5, five five, so that's... Okay, that's right. That's right too, okay, so I always thought dungeons were like a rectangle, not a square. Oh, there you go, the more you know. Okay, I think we're good. Except for these pesky bits. I want to stick a torch in there, so... No mob spawn in it. Now, I will need to make a little collection area, but I'll wait for the moment, and if I do make one, it needs to be... Where did it come from? Oh, bugger, I have no idea. Oh, no, F over there, so it needs to be on this side. Okay. Um, I need water, so... Full inventory, that's the worst. Luckily we've got plenty of water around. Uh, oh, you that's right, I did it wrong. Oh well, sod it. I'll be back, I'll fix it. So if the collection's going to be on here, I'm going to make it that corner. Well, I'll make it this corner actually. Um. Oh, you. I will need to make a sort of area for. Uh, there we go. Let's just do that for the moment. That's where we're going to collect it. Now it is. We need a sign here. Sign there, and another sign here. Then I need to get rid of this, which I should be able to now. There we go, saddles, just in case they ever bring riding to the game, where you can actually control a pig. And I say controls, and you can steer it and all that good stuff. Um, that's a, another. How the hell am I going to get out of here? Okay, that will do, that will do. So, quickly, because... Alright, here we go, this is what's going to happen. We're going to have water coming in from here. Perfect, so everything's going to get put down here, and then I believe it's something like... Okay, so I actually needed more water. And there we go, so mobs get pushed here, hopefully. That don't seem right to me. <laughs> I don't bloody know. We'll soon find out anyway. I'm just going by pictures, so I have no idea what I'm doing really. I think the thing is mobs float, don't they? Something like that. So, 
let's uh, finish this up. There we go. And then you close this up, but I'm not going to do that yet. But this is the idea, anyways, that a mob gets, you know, spawns, gets pushed down into that corner and it'll drown there. Don't ask me how, to be honest, I've. This is the first time I've used this trap, so. But, uh. I'll actually test it out next episode. This is just the, uh. how it looks. And I'll go ahead and do any tweaks and look at making a, uh. collection room. So. Thank you for watching. Any ideas what to do with that, uh, those two houses with the villagers, let me know because I'm kind of stumps there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Catch you next time.